with 16.50 left to go in this scoreless first period. First action for the Flames in 2019. And there's a shot right in the front of the net, and they score. Carroll on the rebound, able to put it in. And that's her fourth goal of the year, her eighth point. And the Flames grab the early lead. Three minutes and 19 seconds in, Mackenzie Carroll puts the Flames on the board. Here's side down low to John or Morris rather, now back up top to John. Cross ice, shot by Serafin and she scores. I'm not sure if it was tipped in front, but nobody cares because the Flames have a two nothing lead. Three thirty one into this second period. It's about the identical time that the Flames scored before. We'll see the replay there, and it most definitely was tipped. I could not see by whom, as you see the shot by Serafin there, and it goes up high. Both teams just trying to find themselves after a long break. It always takes a little bit of time. Nice save by Rapoli, and the rebound scores for UMass. They're on the board. Quite excited is UMass. And that was scored by number eight. But I do not, as there's a turnover, and she got a rebound off of her own shot. U UMass is on the power play, looking to tie things up here in this second period. A shot and they score. It was a tip in front. The shot was put up by Joanna Olsen. And just like that, UMass converts on the power play. And we have a 2-2 game. Seven twenty-two. Here's the shot by Olsen. And maybe the tip by Megan Lawler for both squads. Morris now, Smybert. Morris in the slot and she scores! Morris, it didn't look like a hard shot, but it found its way behind Marshall. And it's 16.47 left to go in the third period. Morris gets her second of the night. You see it here. She just puts up a shot. And it, it didn't look like she got all of it, but you know what? Or they're going to say Smybert got the goal. Nonetheless, the Flames regain the lead. F3 to 2. To the Lady Flames to shoot at. Emily Johns just going to. Try to dump it out, and Alex Smybert. Wide open net. They throw it in, and she wraps it around, and she scores. With 24.7 seconds left, Alex Smybert pretty much seals the deal as the Flames go up 4-2. He knew it was only a matter of time before the Flames We're able to strike again as Smiver just wraps it around the net. And the face off, and it's pretty much just going to be academic ah! after that. And that is going to do it. Slow start for your Flames. Got a goal in that first period. UMass came back to tie it up in that second period, but the third period dominated by your Flames as they get a couple of goals both by Smybert in the third period at 3.13 to take the 3-2 lead, and then she closed out the scoring at 19.34 with a goal, an empty net goal. So that's going to do it for us here tonight. I want to thank the crew and uh, my broadcast partner, Jordan Robinson. My name is Steve Stilwell. These two teams again tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Your final score, 4-2, Flames on top.
from the LaHaye Ice Center on the Liberty Flames Sports Network.